What you are looking at is an operating system based on Ubuntu called Watt, W-A-T-T-O-S. It is Linux. It is a lightweight distribution using the, uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's using Fluxbox or if it's using LXDE, but it's using one of those lightweight window managers. This virtual machine has been configured with 128 megs of RAM. Why so low? Well, this is actually a simulator. Take a look at the desktop. You feel free to pause the video if you need some extra time to, to take it in. Okay, now let's take a look at this. This is Watt OS. But where are my desktop icons? Hmm? Let's take a look at this. I'll go into the program menu here. Where's my, there it is. So I'm going to start and let's open up Abbey Word. Quick, quick and painless, right? Simple enough. Well, let's put it this way. You noticed how when it went through the menus, everything is highlighted, right? Let me show you that again. Let me go into the menu here. See, I got my stuff. See, it's on system tools. It's up. It's highlighted. It's nice and quick and speedy. The cursor is on system tools, but it's not be it's not highlighting anything. Now, granted, it is running off the live CD, but at the same time. Let's take a look at that desktop again. Okay, so we have our icons. Notice here we have no icons, and yet it stopped. It stopped loading, yet the start menu was responsive, or as I like to call it, the light, the bulb menu, <laughs> because <laughs> that's what it is, it's a light bulb. But yeah, it was responsive, yet the um, Icons wouldn't come up. Interestingly enough, a dialog came up, something about FAM not running. F-A-M is in mic. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what the story is. Um, another interesting thing to note is that I could get a terminal to come up, and I tried to run an apt-get update just to see if I could get to the Internet. Um, it was unable to resolve any of the dependencies, which leads me to believe it wasn't recognized in the hardware. Um, it, but I did get a terminal to come up, but that's all I could get to work. I couldn't get anything beyond the terminal to run. And yet, like I said, I configured the virtual machine as close to this machine as I could. Um, it's a compact Presario Tower, uh, model 5000, series 5WV285. Under Windows Millennium, it takes about four minutes to boot. Um, 128 megs of RAM, seven, about a 17.6 gig hard drive, which leads me to believe 20 overall. There's a secondary hard drive with about 2.72 gigs uh, free. Uh, it's a 900 megahertz AMD Athlon, with, again, with Windows Millennium by default. Now, again, the, the, the strange thing is, is here, um, I won't sugarcoat it. The CD with Watt OS on it is an i386. Um, it's not necessarily any AMD. Um, it's not specific to AMD. Um, his ta this tower is the only AMD tower in the house. The strange thing is, is it ran the live CD. It booted but it's like it halted halfway through and yet everything like I said um, again no icons on the desktop here yet I was able to get to the start menu the bulb menu which it doesn't make sense anybody have any idea what's going on here I'm thinking it might be the hardware um, you can go back through the video if you need to hear the specs but that's the story I'd like to try to, to turn it from this into this. 
So anyway, comments and questions are welcome. I really greatly appreciate any contributions you have to this issue. Thank you everybody for watching. Insults Against Me will get you blocked, and have a nice day.